Okay, guys, thanks for joining us here in the charts. You tune into the Crypto Flight Edition. It is your fellow passenger stopping in. We have some technical details on the Dogecoin cryptocurrency. Uh, I think of some time ago we were saying that Dogecoin could reach a specific level. We're going to get back into those details. I'm going to reveal the exponential moving average and see where that is on the daily. So just welcome on back, guys. We're going to take some time to see if we can understand what's going on. It's just kind of stuck within a very small range. Uh, but I do think we're getting pretty close to a move in the market. So find out what that direction is here in this video. So let's go ahead and uh, again, lawyer subscribers, welcome back. If you're new here, consider joining us on this interesting journey. So let's go ahead and dive right into the charts here, shall we? All right. So today's March the 18th. 18th 2021 and the current price of dogecoin usd is going to be 5.7 cents it's down approximately 0 0.03 percent for the day okay all right ladies and gentlemen hope you guys are doing well it's been a while since we spoke so let's see what we have here here's the consolidation range same thing it's like super boring right that's it uh but the less complicated you keep your charts i mean the better you can have an understanding of what's going on right so here we are, and I think on the last video we were saying that Dogecoin could reach, uh, let's see, my price target was like seven cents just overhead. Well, that's what I needed to see from Dogecoin in order to show some strength in this market. Let me see if I can put a horizontal line on the seven cent right about there, like right there. All right, so I'm going to speculatively say that Dogecoin is gearing up for a move, okay? Uh, for those who are just stopping in, uh, I was just basically saying that like I found like small consolidation ranges, like something like this. It's kind of weird to explain, guys. I don't even want to explain this, honestly, because um, but I, th I think you, know, you guys are really super smart, right? I think you're, you're following me sometimes. So you see like this little small box area. It measures out to like nine to ten days. And what I did is like super rough estimate. And I kind of brought it over here and just noticed that there was like nine or ten days of consolidating here, right? It's like nine or 10 days right there. And then I just kind of moved it on over just like that, right? So it's like, we're getting pretty close if we're not there already. Like if it actually doesn't happen within the next 24 hours, uh, that wouldn't be a shocker to me, right? Because Dogecoin wants to make a move um, out of this. It's a very small nine consolidation range. It's super weird, guys. Don't, don't worry about it. Let's skip that part. But the way that I'm looking at the chart, it's screaming that it wants to make a move I'm going to speculatively say to the upside, remember, I'm not invested in Dogecoin, so it doesn't benefit me one way or the other if I'm saying it's going up or down. Um, it could go to the downside. But I think on our last video, I don't know if you guys remember, it actually gave you a pretty interesting range. And it stretched out from like, I think it was like 5.3 cents. Let me see if I could put a, uh, a range on the uh, chart here. Uh, I hate saying uh, it makes me sound so dumb. <laughs> All right. So something like right there. I think we were like, yeah, let me know down in the comment section. Do you guys remember I gave you like a small specific range? If one of you guys can leave down in the comment section, what was that range? I never have my stuff together and know what it is, right? But I know you guys follow me pretty close. So let me know if you guys took notes and you remember that little small range just below the price. Yeah, look, it's, it's, it's like it came down to that level and it caused some perfect uh, support down there so far, at least, right? It doesn't mean it can't get lower, but that looks pretty interesting. You see, that was the last level. I know I remember leaving guys out with just one little small range. Um, as a potential area where the buyers must protect excuse me and it appears that the buyers have done their job sufficiently and the buyers are in preparation to make their next move again which would likely be to the upside let's get a really quick measurement from the current level all the way up to seven cents so that's getting about 22 percent to the upside so if you see over the next 21 hours is um the time right now is like 10 34 p.m eastern standard time again march 18 2021 so within this 21 hours if you see doge going up to like 22 percent that'd be a pretty awesome call right if i actually get that right i've been a little rusty lately with my calls but uh, i'll get it right one day and that's my prediction, okay? I'm not sure if the thumbnail suggests like 72 hours or something like that. The reason I give it 72, 72 hours is because I'm also looking at the, uh, I think it was the weekly candles. I typically don't look at like the, the lower time frames. I look at like the higher time frame, like 12 hours and up. And um, the, I think it was the weekly, not the three day. The three day actually looking a little bit, uh, not as bearish as I, I'm sorry, not as bullish as I'd like for it to be. Uh, but I think the weekly is how I was measuring this. So yeah, within the next 72 hours uh, to show strength, remember I'm looking at the story behind price action. In order for me to know whether or not there uh, there's some real strength into this market. I know that the Dogecoin army, you guys are out there. I know it. I can see it in the price action. And as, as long as I can see some strength in this market, um, 
if this cryptocurrency can at least stay above 5.6 cents yeah oh yeah because the last level that we've been we were talking about for so long was 5.5 cents i mean i'm sure you guys remember that it's above 5.5 cents it's just kind of hanging out above that level it's just in a beautiful position to continue this overall trajectory to the upside so don't be surprised if you see dogecoin up to like seven cents even like a test uh, i'd like to see a test i don't really want to see like an obliteration i don't really want to see like these very fast moves in the market and again the reason that i say that is because for the health and the wellness of dogecoin i know some people don't, don't agree with that guys just ignore them okay i'm looking at the story i'm looking at the structural foundation of dogecoin and so far the structural foundation suggests that everything is fine right now this could change a week from now it could change a month from now we're just following the story as it plays out and again the story is suggesting everything looks structurally intact so far as long as that 5.5 cents level is respected everything is just fine so hopefully this was useful information to you wonderful folks let's see how this plays out over the next 72 hours uh what is that um i gotta pull up my calendar here nothing's ever rehearsed guys i'm super unprofessional so like march the 21st or march the 22nd 2021 um to show some real strength in the market i think i've said this like a million times seven cents i'd like to see something in that nature something gesturing into that direction to the upside okay uh, dogecoin needs to uh, show some strength here which so far it's holding up pretty nice um, and the last thing that we'll close out here is the ema exponential moving average i wanted to show you all that remember the exponential 50-day moving average here it is right there right below the price all right so i think the last time we spoke it was at the um oh wait hang on these are the 12-hour candles guys see there it is that unprofessionalism right here the daily this is what i wanted to show you so right here on the daily uh, the exponential moving average is currently at about 4.9 cents. I think the last time we spoke, it was like 4.1 cents. So you see how it kind of goes up in increments, right? The longer it goes side, takes to, you know, go sideways, uh, the more that exponential moving average is kind of, you know, slowly moving up with the price. I mean, that's, that's the direction that we'd like to see it going into the upside or, or sideways, right? We don't want to see it going down. Okay. That's not the right direction, at least for the bullish case, right? Uh, so that's what I'm seeing. And again, the, uh, Exponential moving average is currently at 4.9 cents. This video is getting pretty long, I think. So we're going to cut it out here. Thank you for your time, you wonderful folks. And we're going to go ahead and um, save everything else that we're going to talk about for Dogecoin for the next video. Hopefully, we'll stop in and, I guess, celebrate when it actually reaches that 7 cents. If it's going to go to 7 cents. And that's it. So take care of yourselves. Protect your portfolios. Okay, Execute your strategies out there. Remember, don't listen to me. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just looking at some very interesting candlesticks that i do the best that i can to understand the direction in the markets okay so make sure you do your research out there and make sure you are being yourselves okay that's the most important thing and that's it so uh, also if you're new here before you go well we're going to cut it out um we cover the traditional markets it gets very interesting in the traditional markets at times so we'd love for you to subscribe and uh, join us on this very very interesting journey at times so we'd send you that information when it's available so yeah, to take care of yourselves, protect your portfolios, execute your strategies. We're going to talk soon. Bye for now.